Hi, Thomas Brinsko, President and Publisher of BIC Magazine and BICMagazine.com, bringing you the top news of the week. Uh, really, the biggest news at BIC right now I want to share with you is uh, our founder, Earl Hurd, and many of you who watch my vlog know him personally. Uh, Earl Hurd announced his retirement officially, effective January 1st. I'll be taking over as CEO of the company and uh, he is going to spend more time watching his grandson play basketball and enjoying his boat out in Clear Lake, uh, Texas. I owed a huge debt of gratitude to Earl. Uh, he's a man that I love very much and uh, probably more importantly he loves me well and gives me a lot of grace. He's taught me and our employees and many of you so much over the years. Um, just a big shout out to him and uh, also congratulations with my uh, transition from president to CEO, we've announced that Jeremy Osterberger has been promoted from vice president of BIC to president of the company. This is a man that's uh, been with us uh, uh, many, many years and uh, I'm always proud to work with Jeremy. I get great feedback on him all the time from uh, my colleagues in the industry and it's uh, well deserving on his part. The new magazine came out, and one of the uh, articles I really wanted to point out to you is getting a lot of traffic on our website right now. Uh, gentleman uh, Nick DeLucis from CNX Resources, he's an a e and company, he wrote a great editorial on eight irrefutable energy truths. He said, if you're not pro-energy, you're really not pro-human, was one of the truths. And uh, uh, thank you, Nick, for contributing that article. Uh, we really appreciate it. Another great contribution to our publication this month was uh, Glenn Johnson, the head of workforce development for BASF. Glenn wrote an article on uh, COVID's effects on workforce development, obviously a very important issue. Just saw a video that's posted on our website from the iron workers about a lady who uh, went from making 13 bucks an hour to over $100,000 a year. So we're still going to have a, a large need for craft labor and we need that workforce development. Last article I'm going to point out to you, uh, I want to give a shout out to my friend Brian Canefield over at CP Chemical. They reached a really elite level on process safety. Uh, 2020 was uh, a bad year for a lot of different things and we had some process safety incidents that really uh, marred our industry. CP Chem is doing it right. Uh, it's the first year in their history that they've gone with zero tier one incidents. So shout out to uh, the whole team at CP Chem. Stay tuned to uh, BIC. If you're not subscribed to our e-newsletter and following us on LinkedIn and Twitter already, I encourage you to do so at the links below. God bless and have a great day.